Tomorrow, I believe, we'll kick off the 23rd season of South Park, which, if you think about it, is pretty crazy. How many shows get to last as long as they have, aside like The Simpsons or some other shows, even though I would argue The Simpsons is nowhere near as good as it used to be, by far, actually. South Park manages to get better and better every year, at least in my opinion, they keep, uh, they keep kind of knocking it out of the park. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they can keep up with cultural references. Like, because of the way the show is done, they can literally tackle, like, subjects that are going on, like, right now, which is pretty impressive. And that, you know, goes to their cheap animation and how quick it is to do. But I got two stories here. I want to talk about this real quick. Something's going on in Australia. If I get something wrong here, it's because I don't I don't live in Australia and I don't understand your guys' TV channels. You have a totally different setup. But apparently, SBS, the channel that's carried South Park for 23 years in Australia, has decided not to pick it back up. They don't really explain why. They're just not going to air it anymore. I don't know if this has anything to do with Comedy Central or not. Uh, I would imagine somebody will pick it back up. Or maybe uh, South Park's just getting too hardcore for Australia. Australia, a lot of crazy stuff coming out of out of that country. I feel bad for some of my Australia viewers because it seems like every day I, I'm reading about like some crazy stuff going on over there. It's It, it kind of sucks. But this is just another thing for you guys. I don't... So, I was a little lost on this. It looks like the premiere is not going to happen, but then they do say uh, some other channel might pick it up. Uh, 10 Shake, which is going to premiere September 27th. So I'm a little confused on this. This is what they say. South Park season 23 is set to premiere in the U.S. on September 30th, but it is not known when it will premiere in Australia, though it will now find a free-to-air home on 10's new 10 Shake which is set to launch September 27th. So they're not very clear. SBS did announce if it was about money or if they were just getting, you know, some angry Karens calling up about the show. I don't know. But if you're in Australia, I'm sure you can find a way to watch it. (laughs) You can always sail the high seas. And then we have this. So this is coming from cracked.com. I think they're supposed to try to be a funny website. Not sure. I didn't really find this article too funny. I thought it was pretty NPC Puritanish, which usually doesn't lead to humor. Usually that humor falls flat. It's like state approved humor or something. Maybe we don't need to hear from South Park right now. Last time we heard that was from that She Hulk writer. Remember that? Do you remember that that woman who's gonna be writing She Hulk? I forget her name, but she's like super hardcore, like super left. And she's arguing how outdated South Park is. She's going to be writing this She-Hulk show for Marvel+. Plus. That's why I didn't get excited. Like People are really excited for that new actress that's going to be playing She-Hulk. And like, yeah, I don't really care. I don't have any faith in that show. Dana Schwartz, by the way, that's her name. I had to look it up real quick. I had to look and see. I can't remember her name. Like most people, because when you go and you look at her credentials, she's mostly just been involved in documentaries. And I'm looking at this like, does it make any sense that she's writing this show because she has no writing experience whatsoever? So I'm sure it's going to be a great show. It's going to be terrible, but whatever. I think she wrote a book or something too, but she has very like limited sitcom experience. I don't think she had any from what I remember. So either way, I, I don't expect the show to be good. I think it's going to be trash like most of the upcoming MCU projects. I think the MCU is in a lot of trouble. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe she'll write a great show and I'll eat some crow and that'd be fine because I'd rather have good Marvel properties than bad, but I'm not, I'm not holding my breath. But anyway, we got, we got crack trying to be funny. We don't need to hear from South Park right now. And then, you know, know, it's funny about this article too, is it goes over all of the risky jokes that they've done, like the miss, the Mr. Miss Garrison thing, you know what I'm talking about. And some of the other stuff that they've done, like the strong woman competition, you know, you got cracked, which is supposed to be a humor website, like ridiculing and wagging their finger at uh, Trey and Matt 
about how they run their show. <laughs> this is why nobody probably reads Cracked anymore or finds them funny. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. So let's see what they say. We'll go through this a little bit. Uh, since Trey, Parker, and Matt Stone presumably aren't super great at developing vaccines, they've instead gone back to work on their long-running cartoon series. Later this month, Comedy Central will air a, will air a South Park one-hour pandemic special, the first of its kind since nobody in 1918 bothered to invent cable television. Ha 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 ha. What a hilarious, oh, what a hilarious paragraph. Oh, they're not great at developing vaccines. What? Ha. Huh. What? That's so funny. Oh, nobody in 1918 invented cable television. Oh. What? You go, guy. JM. You're hilarious, guy. You're so funny. Man. This is all you can afford for <laughs> humorous writing cracked. And they're just scraping the bottle the the bottom of the barrel. Like they're looking for writers, so they hang out like in front of like uh, some kind of rundown building. How much you want, you know? Whatever. I I don't know. I'm telling a bad joke right now too, but I don't work for Cracked, which is supposed to be a funny website. But do we really need the South Park guys' take on anything that's happening right now? Yes, I would like to hear their take on it because they're usually really funny and i could tell you what if there's anything we could all effing use right now is a damn joke because times are terrible so yes that's what's nice about comedy and south park usually does a really good job of making fun of everybody they can go a little npc sometime and then they can go a little risky and edgy they do a really good job of making fun of everybody they make fun of me they make fun of the craft guy they make fun of everybody which is what i like about the show and i think that's what keeps them in business they think everybody sucks and i think and i appreciate that i think that that's uh exactly what we need right now is a humorous take on this and i'm really i am curious i want this because it's going to be an hour long and it's going to be all about the coof so i'm really curious to how they handle this what are they going to do how are they going to spin this? Like, what are they going to say about it? I think there's going to be a lot of like, a real, there's going to be a lot of people mad about how they handle this. Or maybe they'll sell out. I don't know. I really am interested in how they are going to do this. But I'll tell you what, man, if there's anybody I think that we need to hear from right now, it is probably South Park because everything in entertainment sucks right now. So I'm hoping that this is finally something that we can all enjoy. We'll see what happens. It airs tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to it. But here's where the rest of the article goes. So do we really need to hear from the South Park guy's take on anything that's happening right now? Historically, the show's conspicuous moralizing hasn't always stood the test of time. Several of South Park's pointed satirical arguments have tactlessly bungled some of today's most pressing issues. And they go on to talk about police and this stuff with uh, Mr. Garrison's fancy new area. Uh, man bear pig. They actually get mad about how they treated Al Gore. <laughs> it's supposed to be a funny article. I'm telling you. Uh, their 2006 episode man bear pig preached that the biggest problem with climate change was not the devastating environmental catastrophe, but former Vice President Al Gore's whiny alarmism. It was a take so bad they devoted an entire episode to recanting that thesis 12 years later. You see what I'm saying? Usually they simp for Al Gore. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? So... Pretty much they're saying, okay, when potentially life-saving scientific truths are being questioned, South Park's brand of sedonic centrism could conceivably make things worse. We don't need, for example, a mandatory masking laws or lockdown initiatives to become the fodder for some reductive tale of man-bear-pig-like hysteria. South Park is a tough show to criticize because so often it's intended purpose is to offend 
but some of us grew up with the show and got into trouble for wearing They Killed Kenny t-shirts to school, and we're not offended, we're just bored. Besides, the best thing the South Park guys ever did was pioneer the great sport of basketball. That's they're they're trying to that's like a shot at them because basketball. I guess they're actually making a basketball league, but like uh, the movie didn't do very well. I actually thought that movie was kind of funny in some parts, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Uh, a lot of their stuff that they've done outside of South Park has actually been kind of funny. There's a really uh, funny movie called Orgasmo. <laughs> Which is, I don't even know if you can, you are, that was in theaters. But there was some funny stuff in that. I don't know. I think they're funny guys. Anyway, uh, I would say that this is who we need to hear from right now. I would love to see them really go all out and just rip on everybody. As they should. As they always do. And I'm pretty sure people are going to get pissed. And there's going to be all kinds of articles written on the premiere. That'll be fun salt to talk about. On the channel the next day, I, I guarantee you the 31st, that'll be my 10 a.m. video talking about how everyone's butt hurt about South Park. Because you know it's going to happen. You know it's coming. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do we not need to hear from South Park right now? You let me know. Also, throw a like up, share the video, make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one pace also if you want to help support the channel check out my teespring store there's a link in the description you can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out